Hi, this is Caitlin from Mini Metal Gods here with Failsafe. Hey. Hello. Hey. So, where did you get the band name Failsafe from? Um, I think it was our bass player Andy who came up with the name. We were in the, the process of sort of changing our band name from an old band name, and we just wanted something catchy and pretty short and simple and easy to remember. So, Failsafe it was. It's, a po it's like a word with some positivity in it, and that's positivity is an influence of ours, really. Um, so, if you could be an animal, what would you be? An animal? A cat. Meow. Um, why? I sleep all day and then eat, <laughs> up, eat the rest of the day, basically. Sounds like how I roll. We'd have to get another drummer then. <laughs> yeah, that's... Uh, I don't know. Maybe like an electric eel or something. That'd be pretty fun. Why? Because I'd be buzzing. He's already <laughs> um, I guess I'd... Uh, I don't know, maybe may may a big bear. A big bear, is that big what bear. it would be? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, oh, I forgot the question. Swear, you, nearly, you nearly held the swear box then. Nearly. <laughs> um, Sorry, I haven't got any other questions though. Have. I haven't, I love the sheet. Oh yeah, if you weren't in a band, what job would you have? Uh, well, I'm, I'm a qualified joiner and carpenter, so... That's what I do when I'm not in the band playing. I'm out on site. <laughs> I delivery driver at the moment. I do have another job because we're skin. So <laughs> when, when we're at home, I deliver bacon butties to builders, basically. That's nice. Uh, I work in a supermarket, but I wouldn't want to do that if I wasn't in the band. <laughs> what I'd, would you want to be? I'd, I'd want to be just rich, doing something. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe an interviewer or something, you know? Something cool. How did you call me? Um, so how did you all meet? Uh, basically we were all playing in other bands in our local area when we first started um, and through playing gigs together we all became friends and then we all just like decided to get together over a, a period of time and it, this is how the band formed and that's we've gone through a few mem member changes but it's all been through friends and kind of getting together and just playing with your mates so that was we're, yeah we were friends before the band if that makes like yeah. five five mates playing together basically just keeping it real <laughs> so what are you going to do after you've taught us on this fair uh, we've got a, a week off and then we play at uh, new keyboard masters next weekend and then we've got a few shows in London, Camden Curse, and we're playing with Set Your Goals at the Garage, and then we're off to Europe in October, doing a tour over there. We've been doing a lot of writing lately as well for like a third album, so whenever we get like a few days off, we get into the rehearsal room and start jamming and, you know, yeah, go from there. Do any of you have any like band nicknames? Band nicknames? This is Coggers. This is Jimmers. We're just sticking ears on the end of everyone. <laughs> it's, pretty, it's pretty northern to be honest. Robbers. 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 <laughs> Coggers. Jimmers. What's your name? Caitlin. Caters. Caters, isn't it? Caters. That's it. Yeah. In the swearers. Put a quid in the swearers. <laughs> <laughs> so who's like the clown of the band? There's five of us. Yeah, we're, we're all... Well, four. Yeah. We're all pretty much... We just like to have a good time. Nothing should be too serious, we don't think. We I'd, say, have... I'd say Matt's the biggest clown. His commitment to the joke is... Undeniable. I have to, I have to, <laughs> I have to take it to extremes sometimes, but that's that's about it, really. That's the way it goes. We all have our own personalities, but there's definitely a clown in all of us. Yeah. So, what's the worst job you've ever had? Well, I, Rob will answer this. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, take the mic to Rob. Take the mic to Rob. As a delivery driver, I did a lot of like work for temping agencies, so I've done all sorts. So I had to clean toilets. I had to scrub other people's skids, which was pretty depressing. I was the stop and go, stop and go guy at Roadworks. That was pretty. Yeah. Soul destroying. Are you enjoying Sonisphere so far? Yeah, yeah it's been it's great. Amazing. It's a great, it's a great vibe, and like, it's awesome to be at Nebworth, like with the heritage of the whole like rock, like you know the annual events they used to have, and it's awesome. It's just great to be here. If you could play anywhere in the world, where would you play? Ooh. Japan? Yeah, yeah Japan would be Japan. awesome. Probably. We hear so many stories of our friends who've come back from Japan and said that it's been like an awesome tour out there, so that's somewhere we'd like to go, I think. And finally, if you had a million pounds, what would you spend it on? <laughs> I'd probably one of those buses. <laughs> <laughs> we'd probably end up putting it in the swear box, actually. Yeah, <laughs> we've, we've, we've paid our dues with the swear box. we put a million pounds in for it. <laughs>